Let's be real. Learning to code in 2025 is overwhelming. Endless languages, countless frameworks. I mean, where do you even start? And as this comment pointed out in my last video, thanks to AI, the dev job market is completely cooked anyway. So there's probably no point in even bothering with this field anymore, right? No, I'm not buying it. Coding isn't dying, it's evolving. Think of it like the printing press. When it arrived, scribes thought writing was dead. But it didn't kill writing, it evolved it. It made information accessible, created jobs, and transformed communication. AI is actually doing the exact same thing, just for code. In fact, I'd argue it's more important than ever to learn how to code. But there is a catch. The rules of the game have changed. The old ways of learning, i.e. grinding through endless tutorials, or memorizing syntax, they just don't cut it anymore. The tech world is moving faster, and if you don't adapt, you risk being left behind in an industry that's evolving at lightning speed. Now look, you don't need another generic list telling you to just build projects or stay motivated. You need strategies and rules that actually work. I've been a software engineer for nearly 20 years, during which time I've had to learn countless different concepts, languages, and frameworks. After years of trial, error, and research, I've uncovered some key principles that make all the difference when it comes to learning new things. These five rules for learning to code in 2025 will save you so much time and unnecessary frustration. For each of these rules, I'll also give you a piece of actionable advice that you can start putting into practice right away. Let's get into it. The first rule is to embrace the why. Honestly, the first thing you actually need to do is sit down and ask yourself questions like, why are you learning to code? What is it you actually want to achieve? Why does solving this problem matter to you? Digging into these questions uncovers your true motivation. Now, I'll be honest with you, learning to code really isn't for everyone. In fact, I'd even go as far to say that it's not really for most people. As I pointed out in my last video, it requires a lot of dedication these days keeping up with the latest tech, networking with other developers, sharing your work online. If you don't naturally enjoy this stuff and you see it as a massive chore, honestly, this career probably isn't for you. Coding has never really been about building apps or landing a job. It's about creating meaning, solving exciting problems, and finding purpose along the way. I recently read Find Your Why by Simon Sinek, and it changed how I view motivation. He explains that your why, your core purpose, drives everything you do. His golden circle idea shows that starting with why keeps you focused and inspired. For me, my why was creating tools and courses and videos that help people learn fast. That purpose has kept me going through many late nights and early mornings when I just wanted to quit. When you connect your coding journey to a purpose that excites you, it becomes more than a skill. It creates meaning for yourself and for others too. Motivation fades when goals are vague. The real magic happens when you get specific, ruthlessly specific about what success looks like for you. Is it building a portfolio, landing a job, creating an app that tracks scores for your kids' little league football games? Clarity gives your effort direction and keeps you going because trust me, coding will get hard. One of my favorite quotes from James Clear is, excitement is a better motivator than discipline. He explains that people who seem incredibly disciplined often just have a deep curiosity or passion for what they do. If coding excites you, if your why aligns with something meaningful, you won't need discipline to push through. It will feel like purpose pulling you forward. And if you're ready to dive deeper into these concepts but don't know where to start, that's where today's video partner Simply Learn can help. Simply Learn is a leading online learning platform that goes beyond just videos. They offer boot camps and courses designed to empower your career growth. Whether you're breaking into AI or advancing your skills in data science, this is a great place to start your journey. Simply Learn partners with top universities and institutions to deliver industry-focused programs in fields like AI, machine learning, project management, and more. One program that really stood out to me is their Applied Generative AI Specialization. It's a 16-week course where you'll learn everything from prompt engineering to advanced concepts like like building language model applications, all while working on over 25 hands-on projects led by industry experts. What I love about Simply Learn is that their courses aren't just theoretical. You'll get access to interactive lectures, hands-on projects, and even masterclasses taught by experts from places like IBM. 
For example, their AI engineer course offers both an AI engineer master certificate and an IBM certificate upon completion. Simply Learn has been reviewed and recommended by Forbes for its focus on career advancement. Plus, when you complete a course, you'll receive a certificate that demonstrates your expertise perfect for showcasing your skills in high demand fields. Ready to level up your career? Click the link in the description or pinned comment to explore Simply Learn's courses today. I've also included a special link that takes you directly to their AI and machine learning course. With Simply Learn, you're one step closer to mastering in-demand skills. Now, let's dive back into the video. So how do you stay connected to your why? Here's some actionable advice. Before you start learning to code, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Be honest and specific. Write it down where you'll see it daily. When challenges arise, and they will, revisit it to remind yourself why the effort is worth it. The second rule is to always prioritize minimal viable progress. Expert coders weren't born that way. Behind every elegant solution are countless mistakes, bad ideas, and plain horrible code. Getting good at coding comes from failing and learning, but if fear of imperfection stops you, you'll never reach the good stuff. Taking massive leaps will only overwhelm you. Focus on small, consistent steps, progress that almost feels too easy. It's not about perfection. It's about showing up daily and letting small wins build momentum. This is what I put into practice as I've built the app for my new course. At the start of building a full stack app, I was completely overwhelmed with all the features and code I needed to write. And then I needed to get it working in multiple containers, and then I needed to deploy it to staging and production environments. Then I needed to add automation to run that post deployment and just like so many more things. But I just broke it down into lots of little steps and kept relentlessly asking, what's the minimum I can do here to make progress? And those little bit of progress, they quickly add up. Austin Kleon said it best in Show Your Work. The real gap is between doing nothing and doing something. When it comes to learning to code, this couldn't be more true. The hardest part isn't mastering a language or building an app. It's just starting. Even the smallest step forward puts you ahead of everyone standing still. The secret I found is to start with something that excites you, a project or idea that sparks your curiosity. Don't worry about being perfect or creating something groundbreaking. Just embrace being an amateur because that's where all the growth begins. I mean, as Charlie Chapman said, we don't live long enough to be anything other than an amateur. The joy is in the learning, not the mastery. My actionable advice? get into the habit of committing to just two minutes of work on a task you're struggling to find the motivation to work on. It sounds crazy, but that's all it takes to break through the hardest part starting. To open up your IDE, write maybe just one line of code or reread something you worked on yesterday. Once you begin, momentum kicks in and takes over. Remember, even the smallest amount of effort adds up over time. Everything above zero compounds. My third rule is to build and then document your learning. You probably already know that watching videos or reading books, it just isn't enough. You need to build real projects to truly cement your learning. But I'd encourage you to go one step further. Actively document what it is you're learning. Now this could be blog posts, videos, or even a private journal just for yourself. I swear by a system of daily journaling and weekly reviews, weekly, monthly, and annual. I'll admit, I was skeptical at first when I started doing this stuff, but over time I've seen firsthand how powerful this practice is. It actually works. As Peter Drucker famously said, what gets monitored gets improved. This applies to any kind of personal growth, but especially learning how to code. The best part is that over time, you'll build a portfolio you can share with others while growing your skills and personal brand. Here's my actionable advice. Start a work journal. It doesn't have to be fancy. A simple Notion template or text file will do. Just start documenting today. And while physical notebooks are great for some people, I think digital tools are far superior, especially for coding. You can easily save code snippets, screenshots, and search through entries later on. Going back again to Austin Kluyen in Show Your Work, if your work isn't online, it doesn't exist. In today's world, sharing your journey is just as important as the work itself. When progress feels slow, looking back at what you've documented reminds you how far you've come. 
Now, rule four is an important one. Focus on principles, not syntax. With AI, memorizing every nuance of a library is no longer necessary. What matters more than ever is understanding the underlying concepts behind the code you write. This means diving into computer science fundamentals like system architecture, algorithms, and data structures. The huge bonus of this is once you master these principles, picking up new languages or frameworks becomes trivially easy. Understanding principles isn't just about writing better code, it's about solving real world problems effectively. Think of it like learning to cook. If you want to get good at cooking, you don't need to memorize every recipe out there. You just need to understand the techniques like how to saute, bake, or season properly. Once you know the principles of cooking, you can adapt to any recipe or ingredient easily. Similarly, when you focus on coding principles, you'll be able to tackle any challenge and create solutions that truly stand out. Here's my actionable advice. Stop stressing over which language to learn first. Instead, Focus on mastering fundamental programming concepts like data structures, algorithms, and basic problem solving. These principles will serve you no matter what language or framework you use. The fifth and final rule is to embrace AI as your sidekick, not your replacement. AI is everywhere right now, and I've seen loads of comments on my videos that fear it's gonna replace developers completely. Look, the truth is, AI just can't replace the fundamentals of the problem solving mindset you need to succeed. Relying on AI AI to do all the work leaves you with code you just don't understand and that's never going to end well. A better approach is to think of it as your assistant or tutor. Use it to accelerate your learning, ask questions or get help with concepts or maybe even debug tricky problems. But don't let it generate code for you when you're just starting out. Writing the code yourself and taking the time to actually understand it will build knowledge in a way no tool can replicate. Here's my actionable advice. When learning something new, Use AI to clarify concepts or guide you, but always do the work yourself. Build your skills first through hands-on practice, then let AI amplify what you've learned. The real power of AI lies in how well you can direct it. Learning to code remains one of the most valuable skills you can possess, and not just for your career, but also for solving problems, creating cool solutions, and future-proofing yourself in a changing world. But how you approach learning to code matters more than ever. Let's quickly recap the five rules. Embrace the why. Connect your learning to a purpose that excites you. Prioritize minimal viable progress. Focus on small, consistent steps that build momentum. Build and document your learning. Track your journey and create a portfolio that showcases your growth. Focus on principles, not just syntax. Master the fundamentals so you can solve real-world problems. Embrace AI as a sidekick. Use it to accelerate your learning, but never let it replace the hard work of mastering the basics. But that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, and remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.